is episode number 415, brought to you by TV4YourMind.com. Uh, you can find us uh, via email at on the air at TV4YourMind.com or via Facebook at Mentalcast or Mental Television Network. I'm your host, Mike Riley, with Chelsea Tarkington, Billy Carter, Jace the Ace, Ricardo Arredondo. Ooh. How's y'all going? Oh, I'm sorry, I read a thing on Twitter. So, I'm oh, sorry, uh, can I just share this with you guys real quick? What is it? One of the people I follow on Twitter um, is tired of the Super Tuesday bullshit. And he says, all right, I'm reading, I'm doing erotic live readings of a seed catalog. There is an entire section labeled CD photos. Rare seeds may be onto me already. Mostly features gigantic heads of cauliflower. Is cauliflower sexy? I don't know. I mean, you have to tie it up to make it happy, so maybe it's more of a specialized thing. Which is fine. No one is kink-shaming the cauliflower. You do you, cauliflower. So, uh... This is my Twitter feed, you guys. So, uh, Jace, how was your, uh, Zelda concert last week? Um, sad story, actually. Uh, my oh. girlfriend got sick, so, oh. uh, I wound up not going. That's a shame. Yeah, you know, but, uh... We, we decided, uh, you know, everything happens for a reason, you know, uh, and, uh, you know, ma- who knows? We could have gotten into, like, because the weather was shit on top of it all, you know, and uh, my car's been acting up. So, you know, something horrible could have happened on the way there. So, you know, bad things avoided, good things happened, you know, uh, she's feeling better now. And uh, we uh, we might actually try to catch it when they double back and... Uh, they're going to do, I think, Rochester, New York uh, in November. So by then I'll have paid time off built up and uh, it'll be uh, doubly sweet because I'll have time off and get paid for it. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm, I'm just I'm glad to, to hear that everybody is OK and that you made it back here for tonight's show so that you could hear about these the ho- most horrible people on the earth in the top five metal news stories of the week. That's right. Top five metal news stories of the week. You give us 22 minutes and, hey, what do you call two guys in the shower? I don't know, but I got a camera. Let's find out. Number five, ever wanted to fuck a prize? I'm a prize. At least that's what my mom says. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's deep, bro. <laughs> I word, can think word. of other things that are deep, bro. Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> Like a vagina, like a vagina. Like like, uh, some people win a, lo- a trip of the lifetime when they win the competition. Others are handed a bundle of cash. Few, if any, have been given the prize recently awarded to a 16-year-old Russian boy, a month living in a Moscow hotel with a porn star. What? <laughs> Woo! Ruslan Shedrin, said to be 16, who has worked at a child as a child actor, won the prize for being a 100,000th visitor to a new website selling virtual arms for computer games. Perhaps unsurprisingly, the teenage boy is delighted to spend a month with Ekaterina Makarova, who he says has, quote-unquote, good sizes. By the way, here's a picture of the porn star, just so you are aware. Good sizes. Uh, I believe she does, in fact, yes, have good sizes. Mm-hmm. And perhaps even Why more unsurpri- yeah, perhaps even more unsurprisingly, his mother and sister are less happy. <laughs> What's her uh, name? Uh, Ekaterina Makarova. Macaroni. No. Have you heard of somebody named Ekaterina <laughs> Makarova? Ekaterina Makarova. Macarena. Ekaterina Makarova. Not Macarena, Jace. That's Macarena a stupid, Macaroni. That was a Russian porn star. Macarena was a stupid dance craze in the night. Well, let me show you a picture. Hey. Mm-hmm. Isn't Macarena a song about a slut anyway? Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. Macarena Macaroni. Hey, Macaroni. That bitch? You seen her tits? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Have you seen her tits? Just do a Bing search with the safe search. Oh, come on. Uh, I don't want to see her tits. I'm asking if my boyfriend has seen any porn she's been in. I don't want to see her tits. I mean, I might. I bet they're nice. She is a porn star. They're probably also paid for. Um... By the following. <laughs> By the following. <laughs> before it viewers. Follows. By the following for. patrons. <laughs> Paid for. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So, is there such a thing as Patreon for porn? Like, porn Patreon? I don't know. Porn no. Patreon, probably. If there isn't, there will be. Uh, I didn't believe it at I first. I will start that website just so I can start taking the uh, commission from that. <laughs> I didn't believe it at first. commission. 
I didn't believe it at first. I thought it was rubbish, said Bruce Lon, according to the Mail Online. But it would turned out to be true. I thanked the website. I was so happy. <laughs> I saw her, and I liked everything. She has got good sizes and so on. I am looking forward to our meeting so much. Everything is boiling inside me. Everything have... is also... How, how old how... is this kid? How old is this kid? 16. Oh, he's, he's, gonna... Gonna... he's gonna bang that porn star. Yeah. Or try to. She I... have good sizes. Have I have told sizes. my mother, and she has Everything taken it badly. Everything is inside me. Uh, her moyer, her mo- his moyer, <laughs> his, his boyer mother was enthralled. His mother, Vera Sh- Shadrina, said she is absolutely against it. Uh, he has got exams. He is studying. This is not real at all. Even a week is too much. They should have given us a hundred thousand rubles instead. We would be happy with it. His sister, Diana Shadrina, seventeen, echoed her mother's sentiment. I don't think it is any kind of chance for him. He can find a girlfriend if he likes, she said. I wonder about this prize. What if a married man had won it or a young girl? I know some of them joy playing these games, too. Uh, Miss Miss Makarova, also known as Macy Sense, uh, agreed to be the prize months ago and believes 16 is a good age to be independent. She has also apparently not ruled out having sex with a teenager. Oh, well, well, that's nice. What a oh, nice well, person. What a yes. nice porn star. <laughs> Yes, you know, here, I don't know what there, uh, but our here, producer, you can get arrested for that. Uh, my, oh, producer, uh, my producer, Gelman, uh, has, a, uh, has a thought. Well, Russia's age of consent is 16, so well, we he's... didn't see it. We didn't say there was anything wrong with it. We kind of figured that was their age of consent. <laughs> I didn't say that the, you did say that there was anything wrong with it. I'm just bringing out a point. Hmm. So it's completely legal. It's true. Yep. There you go. Enjoy. Enjoy. Enjoy, enjoy your free po- uh, porn poon. Uh, number Everybody four. Else has. Yeah, well, you know, that's kind of her job. Number four, take no takes backsies. Oh. <laughs> oh, and I am saddened to report that this is in Dayton, Ohio. Uh, <laughs> sorry. What did you do? So this literally happened 45 minutes away from me. A man in an armed robbery at an Ohio convenience store Wednesday told uh, told the clerk, I'm just messing with you, after the clerk told him to get out of the store. The man, armed with a knife and a bl- wearing a black mask over his face when he walked up to the clerk, uh, the clerk can be heard asking the robber several times if he is kidding, and the robber responds, no. A moment later, he pulls off his mask, starts laughing, and says, I'm just messing with you. The clerk yells at the robber to get out. He apologizes, and he can be seen walking out. Uh, the clerk said she recognized the robber by his eyeglasses and voice. Anyone with information has to contact Dayton police. Technically, he didn't rob anybody. Uh, attempt, it, this that's, would be criminal it's mischief. It's still called attempted robbery. Time traveling. Criminal Jeremy. mischief. Criminal yes, mischief. He's lucky. Have More an attempted, anything, have an attempted jackassery. That's a thing. Yeah. You know what? Jackass wouldn't even have done this. Did uh, does your Article say that he's still at large? Yes. Well, he, he apparently has been caught. Okay. And he's being arraigned in court tomorrow. Actually, oh. no. March 4th is his preliminary hearing. Okay. I'm sorry. I just looked at the picture. Let me see that what is... That guy kind of looks like some neckbeard I went to college with. <laughs> ben- Benny Hamilton. I don't know that Benny, guy. No, the, the, no, the name doesn't sound familiar. I think the guy, he looks like it was a guy named Benny Benny Beardington. Benny Beardington. <laughs> Number three, that's not Dr. Pepper. Oh. Oh, dear. And it's Deltona, Florida. Hmm. Florida. Florida. Three Volusia County Middle School students are facing charges after spiking their teacher's soda, according to Volusia County Sheriff's Office. During a hearing Saturday morning, a judge ordered the 12-year-old girls to remain in custody for the next few weeks. The incident happened earlier this week at Deltona Middle School. Deputy said one of the students was angry about being disciplined by her teacher, 52-year-old Jane Morgan, and wanted revenge. The student bought crushed red pepper flakes the next day. Uh, Deputy said one student distracted Morgan while the other grabbed the soda and a third dumped in the red pepper flakes. Morgan's throat immediately became hot and scratchy. Uh, The teacher began to choke and experience the shortness of breath. She also summer, suffered stomach pains that lasted into the evening, deputy said. All oh, my three, God. All three, students, children. all three students were arrested Friday, taken to Volusia Regional du- Juvenile Detention Center in Daytona Beach. They face felony charges ranging from poisoning to tampering with consumer products. Yeah. I mean, nobody died, luckily, right? No, nobody died. We wouldn't Make even sure be I didn't miss that. Somebody well, died. No, we wouldn't even be talking about it if that happened. 
Yeah, we tend to not cover people dying. Yeah. In mental news stories. Yeah. Now, you see... Well, there was that one dude who ripped off his own penis. Now, you see, uh, this is what happens when you don't allow spanking your kids in a state. Well, that was uh, surprising. <laughs> Skype just spontaneously combusted on my uh, computer. Huh. Just well, randomly, cool. completely shut itself down. I was like, what the fuck? I've had that happen. Yeah. Computer decided to do updates right now, apparently. You need to turn down some uh, lamps. All you missed, all you missed uh, Jace, was a story about how three kids spiked this teacher's soda with uh, uh, red pepper flakes. <laughs> Number two, hair, 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 hair. Number two <laughs> helicopter parenting on crack. Ugh. Uh, what? After parenting on crack. Okay. <laughs> Concord, New Hampshire. Concord. Concord, oh boy. New Hampshire. New Hampshire. I, and I gotta share this picture first. This is the mug shot. <laughs> of a helicopter? No. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> My raffle copter goes fluff, 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 fluff. That looks woman, like that one comedian. That woman is upset. <laughs> It looks she like seems Ju- upset. You mean Judy Gold? No, not Judy Gold. You're talking about a male comedian. <laughs> Harsh. Uh, a panic alarm incident at a local school led to numerous charges recently against a Manchester woman who was allegedly in possession of cocaine. Uh, Tabitha Lopez, 31, of, in Manchester, was arrested on in November with charged and charged with criminal trespass, disorderly conduct, resisting arrest, and possession of controlled drugs, a felony. Numerous Jeez. police officers were sent to the Pinnacook Elementary School uh, for a trouble alarm concerning an irate parent at the school who would not reportedly leave. Uh, when the first sergeant officers arrived, they saw a number of parents and staffers outside the office. One staffer said there was an irate parent in the office. The went, they went inside and spoke with a woman who was reportedly angry, but stated she was not talking to anybody about the incident and was leaving. The woman, according to a arrest report, was told she was being detained and was asked to go into an office to speak, but reportedly refused. Uh, they took her into the office. She wouldn't talk. Uh, she's been having transportation issues with her children. And she be- showed up, began yelling, causing a disruption, refusing to leave. Uh, uh, she finally complied. And, uh, dispatch reported that she had a uh, warrant out for her arrest. And, uh, they searched her stuff and found the crack. Well, you know what, lady? Because she's done goofed. I thought this was America. America. <laughs> what, am I not allowed to carry my crack in my purse? What's going on here? Huh? 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 Can't walk around in my underwear? Huh? 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 So, uh... She does cocaine! Go, 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 yeah! Yeah, uh... Jim Carrey, do you, do you have words for this one? Stop breaking the law, asshole! Stop right, breaking the law, asshole! <laughs> Make me. Make <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, I actually, because I got a new phone, I lost my sound app because it doesn't exist anymore. Oh, mine dies. <laughs> you had the same one I had. I have to get a new one now, and it makes me sad. I like right. my sound app. Our number one, our number one story is you there's look like Jesus. I know. But his nose is glowing. Our number one news story is there's seven things wrong with this. And if you're not, a- Ooh, let's count. Uh, wait, no, but if you're not understanding the joke, because it doesn't come across in speech, seven is spelled with a seven. Uh, seven asses. <laughs> oh. It's, a, it's S- S-E-7-E. Like the movie seven? Yeah. Oh, it's so bad. Tampa, Florida. Oh. Take another shot. Actually, a, fug- a fugitive from Tampa, Florida, who has stopped in Northeast Ohio, so it's both. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He's coming for you, Michael. Down the bottle. Uh, Talmadge, Ohio, actually. Talmadge, Ohio. Ohio Police say a fugitive from Tampa, Florida, who didn't want to be identified by his fingerprints during a traffic stop in northeast Ohio, chewed off his fingertips. (laughs) Uh, uh, Kirk (gasps) Kelly has been jailed on felony counts of evidence tampering and obstructing official business and misdemeanor charges of falsification and resisting arrest. A message left for his attorney after business hours Friday hasn't been returned. Police in Talmadge, Ohio, say Kelly and several other people were put into a cruiser without handcuffs after their vehicle was stopped last weekend, and officers thought they smelled drugs. 
police say Kelly gave false names as they tried to identify him. They say they <coughs> figured out who he is after photos of his tattoos were provided by police in Florida, where he's wanted on firearm and drugs charges. That's what she said. So, yeah. He, Finger uh, licking good. He, t- <laughs> he chewed That's off, what she said. He chewed off his own... Uh, you know, Thanks. you know what? I think Jim Carrey's gonna say. Stop this. breaking the law, asshole! Yeah, I think I, I mean, think that's appropriate here too. How do you chew off your own fingertips? That's what I want to know. Well, I'm, I'm very carefully. So much. Well, nah, Jeffrey like... Dahmer said, "You only need to crunch down as hard as you would on a carrot." <sighs> Dahmer, party of five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, you know what? I'm, let's just move on. Donner, party of 50. Just gross. Chicken yeah. fingers. Chicken fingers. It's chicken fingers. No. <laughs> Ricardo, just no. No. Why would you? No. No. I love the it's, it's, a, it's a simple case of mind over matter. It's like <laughs> yes. when Double D tried to eat the blue crayon. <sighs> blue. Or, blue is, is blueberry. Right? Blue is blueberry. <laughs> Let's see what weird uh, band names are happening in the new music releases this week. March 4th. Uh, Running from the Blows by Adult Books. That writes itself. Whoa, hold on now. <laughs> the band is called Adult Books? Yeah, and the album is called Running from the Blows. That's what she said. I never run from the Blows. <laughs> I run head first into the Blows. That, that must That's hurt your said. boyfriend's crutch. Uh, before like a million face universes. first into the Blows. <laughs> It's before a million, world. before a million universes by Big Ups, Up in the <laughs> Air by Brett Harris, Discipline by Club Cheval, Bright Colors by Dead Stars, Glitter Bust, self-titled, Music for Listening to Music Two by La Sera, Long Way Home by Lapsley, Full Circle by Loretta Lynn, More Rain by M Ward, Three by Mike Snow, You Know Who You Are by Nada Surf, The Hills by Nicholas Kurgovich. United Crus- Crushers by Polizia, Extreme Now by Prince Rama, Exite by Cluster, Ouroboros by Ray LaMontagne, You're Doomed mm-hmm. to Be Nice by Rob Crow's Groomy Place, Once Was Lost Now Just Hanging Around by Sego, Volume 1 by Soon, uh, A Man Alive by Theo and the Get Down Stay Down, <laughs> <laughs> Distance in Between by The Coral, The Swooner by The Zolas, No Fantasy Required by Tiga, Limitless by Tonight Alive, We Can Do Anything by The Violent Femmes, and Loveland by Wall of Death. And also Blood Farts by McCorkle. No. Blood <laughs> Farts. Coming soon. By McCorkle. By your Corkle. This Week in McCorkle. Theaters. McCorkle. 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 What the hell is going on? McCorkle. Uh, March 4th. It's like a damn anime up here. In theatrical music. McCorkle, the anime. In theatrical McCorkle. music. The animated series. <laughs> McCorkle son! No! I'm going to show everybody McCorkle. Uh, March 4th in theaters. Knight of Cups starring Christian Bale, Kate Blanchett, and N- Natalie Portman. <laughs> Num, Num, Natalie Portman. Nat, Nat, Natalie Portman. London Has Fallen by Ger- uh, starring Ger- one? Hold on, uh, what was that first one? Knight of Cups. What? Oh, Knight of Cups. Yes. Cubs? Yeah, I can read the description, but as far as I can tell, it doesn't say much. I've tr- looked into this movie, and I can't really find much out about it. All I know is it's Christian Bale, and Natalie Portman's in it. Kate Blanchett, too. It just says, a writer indulging in all that Los Angeles and Las Vegas has to offer undertakes a search for love and self via a series of adventures with six different women. Hmm. More than likely, he got a tarot card reading because that's. I that's mean, it, there's definitely tarot imagery in it. And if I was better about it, I could tell you what Knight of Cups actually represents. But I never taught myself to read tarot. Drinking um, a lot of beer. London has fallen, starring Gerard Butler, Aaron Eckhart, Morgan Freeman, Angela Bassett, Alan Abudable, uh, <laughs> Charlotte Riley, Jackie Earl Haley, Melissa Leo, Robert Forster, Sean O'Brien, Rada Mitchell, and Walid Zwatir. What was that, like, fourth name in? Uh, Angela Bassett. <laughs> no, you don't know what I want to say again. Jackie Earl Haley. Yes. Uh, Abutabo. Alan Abutbo. Anyway, the pr- description for this is in London for the Prime Minister's funeral. Mike Banning discovers a plot to assassinate all the attending world leaders. It's it's the sequel to Olympus Has Fallen. Yeah, it is the sequel Ooh. to Olympus Has Fallen. Yeah. Yeah, but all of- I can think, oh, like, I hear, see, London has fallen, and all I hear in my brain is, London's burning. 
My like, London. Yeah, all I hear is my London, London Bridge want to go down like London. <laughs> <laughs> the DVD I'm sequel will be Mexico has fallen. <laughs> that already happened. Uh, yes. The other, the other side of the door. The other side of the door, starring Sarah Wayne Callies and Jeremy Sisto. Hold on, let me see about that one. Jeez, still say. Okay, this one. The poster looks like a horror movie. It's a horror movie. All right, so it's a horror movie. Let's see what who's who's directed this one. Johannes Roberts. I don't know anything about that. All right, okay. a family lives an idyllic existence aboard aboard something. Lives an idyllic existence aboard s- something until a tragic accident takes the life of their young son. The inconsolable mother learns of an ancient ritual that will bring him back to say a final goodbye. She travels to an ancient temple where a door serves as a mysterious portal between two worlds. But when she disobeys a sacred warning to never open that door, she upsets the balance between life and death. Uh, Whiskey Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, starring Tina Fey, Margot Robbie, Martin Freeman, Billy Bob Thornton, Alfred Molina, Christopher Abbott, and Sheila Van. Christopher Abbott? WTF. Christopher yes, Abbott. It takes a lot of guts to basically name your movie What the Fuck. I don't know. I mean, there's been two podcasts named after that. A journalist <laughs> recounts her wartime coverage in Afghanistan and Pakistan. And it looks pretty good. Uh, Tina Fey's in it. It's actually based on a book. Margaret Robbie's book. in it, and she's wearing clothes this time. <laughs> called The Taliban Shuffle, Strange Days in Afghanistan and Pakistan. Uh... Should be interesting. And I said I said the F word on the show. I don't do that usually. Oh no. So um, take a shot because I swore. I swore. All right. Um, well, I said Zootopia, the F word, which I normally don't say. Zootopia. Well, fuck. Zootopia, starring <gasps> Jennifer Goodwin, and Jason Bateman. Can I read this, please? Zootopia, starring Jennifer Goodwin, Jason Bateman, Shakira. Idris Elba, J.K. Simmons, Nate Torrance, Jenny Slate, Bonnie Hunt, Don Lake, Octavia Spencer, Tommy Chong, and Tom Lister Jr. Sounds like All a right. good movie. I'm going to say something, and I want you guys to just ignore it after it comes out of my mouth. I just went onto the page for it, and the fox is making bedroom eyes at me. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So what does the fox say? Excuse me for <laughs> The fox says, guys. get on my dick. Peter. <laughs> Fox says, all wings, report in. Oh, wait, no, that's next month. <laughs> right. A city of anthropomorphic animals, a fugitive con artist fox, and a rookie bunny cop must be together and uncover conspiracy. All right, so I just want to say, Zootopia is responsible for one of the best headlines of the year so far, which is, uh, what was it? It was something about, like, Disney, or Zootopia execs requesting furries to stop making disgusting pornography of their characters. Yes. Never? <laughs> This was an actual news headline. Okay, let's face it, though. I mean, like, it's a furry going movie. back to last year with you know Tony the Tiger, you know, and, <laughs> and the Tony fact that Daddy. and the fact back. that uh, the Trix Rabbit is like one. They're getting rid of the bright colors from Trix. Two, they're changing the uh, cartoonish anthropomorphic mm-hmm. rabbit with a photorealistic rabbit. Apparently. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure marketing is moving away from anthropomorphic characters because of furries and trolling on the internet and the fear that children will be horribly scarred for the rest of their life. Well, you already can't Google My Little Pony with the safe search off. My Little Pony. (laughs) (laughs) Howard Stern's uh, expose on BronyCon was uh, quite uh, enlightening. To the expose, to the expose. Cloppers! Everybody go to the expose. <laughs> uh, this week in video games, on February 28th, uh, Slashy Souls for iOS and Android. On the 29th, Soul Axiom for Windows and Mac. On March 1st, Al- Alakine's Gun for PS4 and Xbox One. Bro Force for PS4. Deponia Ooh. Doomsday for Windows, PS4, and Xbox One. Far Cry Primal for Windows. Gears of War Ultimate Edition for Windows. Heavy Rain for PS4. Return to Papa... Lo- Return to Papa LaCroix, uh, Stories of Seasons Fairy Tale, 3DS. The Ooh. Witch in the Hundred Night, uh, Re- Re- Revival Edition for PS4. Tron yes. Runner for Xbox One. X Blaze Code Embryo for Windows. On the second, Blaze Blue Chrono Phantasma Extend for Windows. On the third, Black Desert Online for Windows. 
on the fourth, Action Hank for PS4 and Xbox One, Into the Stars for Windows, and Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD for window for Wii U. Uh, that would be HD. weird if it was for Windows. <laughs> yeah, it's the HD remake of Twilight Princess for Wii U because it was on the Wii originally. I'm I'm uh, I'm excited for that uh, just for the amiibo functionality because mm-hmm. I am a consumer whore. And how? <laughs> and how? <laughs> and how? <laughs> Speaking of which, Don Hertzfeld, I can't wait for his uh, Blu-ray to come in the mail. Thank you, Kickstarter. Nice. Okay. Time to talk uh, top eight action sequels. Oh, uh, I told you I'd be back. Uh, uh, Ricardo, Ricardo beat you to that, though, Jace. Yes. Die Hard okay. 2. Die Hard 2 is good. Uh, Die Hard 2, Electric Boogaloo. Yeah. Uh, crap. I don't know. Aliens? Yep, that works. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess it's. I, I always think of it more of as a sci-fi movie. You it's know? actually, it's actually a horror movie, but it's still. But it has action. It does. It does have action. Um. Yeah, and Chelsea said Winter Soldier. Uh, I mean, I, I'm just saying though, the Zootopia people are not helping themselves with the ads. No. Because they made the fox kind of actually look like Jason Bateman, who's kind of attractive. <laughs> I have so, those. Mm, and, mm, and the bunny's cute too. Yes, Dane. She kind of looks like Jennifer Goodwin. Who's yes, adorable? Yes, Dane. Rambo 2. Rambo 2 is a good one. Ooh, yeah. Ram- wait. Rambo 2? or Wasn't there like Rambo First Blood Part 1 and Part 2? Uh, it's First Blood is Rambo 1, and then Rambo First Blood Part 2 is Rambo 2. Oh, okay. I just know that they were that the, both of those were on Netflix at one point. I didn't watch them because they took them off really fast. Billy, did you pick one? Yeah, I, I said Die Hard 2. Oh, that's right. Jace, did you pick Boogaloo. one? What did you? Oh, Jace picked aliens. That's right. And Ricardo. Picked, yeah. Okay. No, we we're all in then. Good. Uh, I'm gonna pick. Oh, balls. My nose. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna pick my nose. That would be stupid. Um, hey, you can I'm pick gonna... your friends. You can pick your nose. But you can't pick your friend's nose. I weird ass friends. I guess I'll pick. Mm, you know what? I'll go friends, with the Road lovers, Warrior. Richard, what's going on here? I'm gonna go Ooh, with yeah, the, I'm Road gonna go Warrior. With the Road good. Warrior. They're quoting Shakespeare behind me, and I don't know what the fuck's going on. Uh, well, but soft, yeah. what light through Culture yonder window fuck. breaks? Hawk what, people. What light through yonder window breaks? Tis the shadow of my cock. Um, <laughs> what light through yonder window breaks? It is the shadow of my cock. Uh, I, I, I don't think that's how the line went. That's it, that, that's how it goes when I say it. Uh, just and and I cut. would know, given that I was forced to watch Baz Luhrmann's Romeo plus Juliet a couple weeks ago in my film class. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. Just missing the cut, Kill Bill Volume Two from two thousand four. We watched the Zeffirelli version, which had actual tits. Kill Bill Volume Two, yeah, underage tits. Chelsea, the police will be by shortly. Uh, Kill Bill Volume <laughs> it's Two. It's an art film, okay. <laughs> but, Kill yeah, Bill the girl vo- was like sixteen in that movie. Kill but Bill again, Volume. When I saw Kill it, I Bill was like Volume Two. I was fourteen. So eat a dick. <sighs> There's also man butt. Kill Bill Volume Two, two thousand four. We're never going to get through this list because I'm going to say everything, every entry 7,000 times before people hear me. What was that first one, Mike? <laughs> no, I'm not repeating it again. <laughs> uh, Furious 7, 2015. Furious 7? Yeah. Uh, Magnum Force, 1973. Ooh. Lethal Weapon 2 from 1989. Oh. Die Hard with a Vengeance from 1995, and that was just missing the cut. Which one was Die Hard with a Vengeance? Is that the one where they nerfed it into a PG-13 rating? No. No. Is no, it that, still good? Uh, there hasn't been. I don't think there has been a PG thirteen Die Hard. There was a PG. It was Live Free or Die Hard, right? That was the PG thirteen one. Yeah, mm-hmm. they yeah. nerfed Die Hard. He couldn't even oh. say the catchphrase. No, he could say it once because you can say well, yeah, one you F word. You can say F-word. fuck no, once no, in a PG thirteen film. What happened was when they released it on DVD, you could buy the theatrical cut or you could buy the unrated director's cut, which is basically the R rated version of the movie. Yeah. Number eight, Desperado, nineteen ninety five. What was it? Not yes, repeating Spirado. it. Desperado? Not, not not repeating it. What's Desperado a sequel to? Uh, sequel to El Mariachi. Oh, El and then Mariachi. Once Upon a Time in Mexico was like the threequel to that, right? Yes. I oh, saw yes. that one because Johnny Depp was in it. Number seven, The Raid 2 Burandal for 2014. Ooh. I'm sorry, I didn't even understand that. Uh, number six, Rambo First Blood Part 2 for 1985. There you go. Number five, Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, 2011. 
Uh, number four, The Born Supremacy, 2004. Born Supremacy. Have you? Do you guys know there's another one coming out? They've given yep. up Born whatever. It's just called Jason Born. Yep. John Rambo. What was the one with um, Jeremy Renner that did like piss at the box office? It was called Trainwreck. <laughs> no, I that was like that was a movie Renner. starring Amy Schumer. <laughs> I like Jeremy. <laughs> that was actually a movie starring Amy Schumer. Um, I like Jeremy oh, Renner, God. you guys. I think Hawkeye is underappreciated. Number three, The Road Warrior, 1981. Yeah. Hey-o. Mm. Mad Max, right? <laughs> yes. Six Academy Awards. <laughs> oh, my God. Seriously, Mad Max Fury Road. Six Academy Awards. Yep. Number two, Terminator 2 Judgment Day, 1991. Yay. And number one. Two, also a great movie. Number one is Aliens from 1986. Ah, yes. Nicely done, wow. I just don't think of that as an action movie. Oh, but it is. It's a lot of things. I guess my movie isn't technically a sequel. It's Captain America Winter Soldier isn't actually a sequel to Captain America First Avenger. It's a sequel, kind of, to The Avengers. Kind of. All right, so let's talk Academy Awards. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, let's talk Academy Awards. <laughs> well, that was a fun night. <laughs> yes. Mother uh, of God. If you missed it, it's up on com now, the entire five-and-a-half-hour stream of uh, me, Dane, Billy, Jace, and Mark Gludhill all talking about, all riffing the Oscars live as it happened. I got a little bit too inebriated to... You were I probably... might have been interesting on the stream, but I don't <laughs> you want to been, hear my drunk ass You would have been about... out cold after Leo won the Oscar. <laughs> I, oh my god, I had to finish my bottle. Out cold as a bear. Uh, we got, we got kind of <laughs> oh sick and god, tired. Did you guys see the bear in the audience? We got sick and tired of the, all the uh, racial humor being jammed down our throats. But other than yeah. that, I, you know, wanted, I, I wanted, think I think I the best happen. one of the racial humor was the Black History Month moment with <laughs> that Jack was funny. Oh, the sick burn. That was that was like the best burn of the night to Will Smith. Yeah, Aside Smith, from Chris like Rock's the, line the about Will him Smith making show. twenty mil off of Wild Wild West. I can say though that like the ceremony itself was really good. It was just like. The Oscar, the actual winners of the Oscars was really kind of just out of left field for the most part. Yeah. I I will say, as much as I want to see Mad Max Fury Road take home Best Picture, I'm glad that, uh, what was it? Uh, Spotlight. Spotlight. Yeah, Spotlight. I'm, I'm glad Spotlight had won it because it was shot in Boston. And yeah. as, as you guys know, I'm, I'm big in the mass film scene. Every time an Academy Award goes to a made in Massachusetts movie, that's more business that comes my way. Yeah. And uh, uh, Spotlight, I mean, right? We're talking about Spotlight. Yeah, yes. yeah. Because uh, the last no, time that happened, that it was uh, it was The Departed. And after The Departed had won, Scorsese came back to Boston. They shot Shutter Island. Uh, oh my god, that- Shutter Island was way better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, you know, like. Uh, and, and the film industry just kept on coming back. They're trying to kill the tax credit in Boston right now because the governor is an asshole. And uh, so that that Oscar win right there is actually a humongous victory for, you know, the the film industry in my state and uh, for my career, hopefully. So, <laughs> uh, as we mentioned, best picture went to spotlight. Best director went to Alejandro Giannirito for The Revenants. Giannirito. Yeah, that was uh, that, that was uh, him winning two years in a row too, yep. right? Yes. Yep. Uh, uh, my Twitter feed was blown up about people hating on Inaritu. Racist. They just want to George Racist. Miller. To win. I think that's because they're expecting one more George Miller masterpiece for him to get the Oscar within the Mad Max franchise. Yep. I mean, because I mean, the- like we we were all flabbergasted that Star Wars got shut out. Oh, when yeah. Star Wars traditionally wins some sort of award in the special effects or editing or sound oh, or even you. soundtrack. Yeah, but uh, Star Wars got shut out. And as one of my coworkers put it, the Academy already knows that this Star Wars movie is going to be part of another trilogy. They're going to save all the Academy Awards for Episode Nine, uh-huh. you know, just like they did with the last movie in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. There you go. Uh, lead actor That's what I was, uh, was saying that how it's going to go down. Uh, best lead actor went to Leonardo DiCaprio for The Revenant. Finally, yay! Somebody shut As that guy As one friend up. of mine put it best, Leo is only allowed to win an Academy Award on a leap year, apparently. Yeah. 
That's what it was. It was it was it was freaking leap day. Yep. So or no, it was leap day was yesterday. Yeah. Well, uh, it, it was it was almost after midnight when uh, they had announced the, at least on the East Coast, East Coast when they announced him. So. Uh, Fun, unrelated fact, we learned that, uh, well, we riffed a, a wrestling show last night, Monday Night Raw. First Monday Night Raw to ever take place on Leap Day. Ever. And the show's been on the air for 23 years. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah. Uh, best lead actress went to Brie Larson for Room. Yeah. I the need to room? see that. Not The Room. Just, just the, room. Kid from the, room, the kid from Room, uh, Jason, J- uh, Jacob Tremblay. Yep. He's adorable. The, my one of my favorite parts of the presentation was when him and the uh, the kid from uh, Beasts of Southern Wild was it Beasts of Southern Wild or Beasts yep. of No Nation? Uh, Beasts Beast of Southern no Wild, Nation. right? Those two kids no came Nation. out and Chris Rock brings the boxes so they can reach the mic. <laughs> Least favorite part of the night was the minions. Yeah. yeah. Did not need the minions to be at the Oscars. They weren't even nominated. Fuck. I, my my least favorite part of the night wasn't even the minions. Like I don't like the minions. But by far, I mean, okay, yes, we get it. Disney owns ABC, so they were able to do this. Yes, it's been 20 years since Toy Story came out. If that makes you feel old, good, it should. Uh, but no, I didn't like the fact that Toy Story was presenting the award for Best Animated Film, and it went to Inside Out. That's just incestuous. <laughs> you know, like, Pixar... <laughs> Giving an award to itself, like, yeah, like you know, speed, that's that's a freaking. Like, th- really, I, I, I I'm sorry, like give it to when really Marnie just... was there. That's an animation. Like this isn't me coming from being like you know a, a nerd or or liking Ghibli. This is coming from somebody who who I saw Inside Out not too long ago, and I saw when Marnie was there, and when Marnie was there is actually a work of cinematic art. You know, like it's, it's. I haven't seen when Marnie was there, so I can't speak to it. But Inside Out is one of the best and most important films I saw all year. Haven't seen it. <laughs> but uh, I do like. Can we really trust Buzz and Woody not to give it to the Pixar film? I, again, it just seems so freaking wrong. Like I you mean, know, if there was you know the obvious that weren't going to get it, like Sean the Sheep movie. Uh, hello, how did you even get nominated? That would have been an upset in itself. I mean, come on, it's Ardman. And Ardman, I mean... It is Ardman, but Sean the Sheep isn't anywhere near as good as Wallace and Gromit. Well, yeah. I mean, it's more I'll, Chicken Run. I'll, chicken Run is considerably less than Sean the Sheep. Sean the Sheep is more <laughs> beloved in its, in, <laughs> in its native country. I mean, my only exposure to Sean the Sheep was a little Nintendo 3DS video from a while back. You know, which I thought was kind of cute. You know, but I mean, other than that, I was just like, oh, look, it's an animation from the guys who did Wallace and Gromit. Like, you know, that's that's all Ardman will be known for in the United States is those guys who did Wallace and Gromit. You know, I and it's like un- Creature Comforts, which was from Ardman Studios. Those were pretty cool. I, I like I would touch those on the BBC a lot. They, they they did make an American Creature Comforts, but it wasn't as cute because it wasn't animals talking in British accents. Yeah. All right, uh, I best... would watch any horse talk about whatever the hell it wants to, as long as the horse has a British accent. It sounds like Jennifer Saunders. Best Supporting Actor went to Mark Rylance for Bridge of Spies. Best Supporting Actress went to Alicia Vikander for The Danish Girl. I actually saw Bridge of Spies. It's like the only movie up for Best Picture I'd seen. Original Screenplay went to Spotlight. Adapted screen- Screenplay went to Big Short. Animated Feature went to Inside Out. Foreign Language Film went to Son of Saul. Documentary. Yeah, that's not surprising. The Holocaust movie gets the Oscar. Mm-hmm. Documentary. But they tried to play the director off with the the, the Wagner, and I'm like, no, 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 don't do that. That's a Nazi. Don't play that for the Holocaust movie. Actually, it's even funnier considering that that movie beat out a category that Star Wars was in, and it came out the same day as Star Wars. Oh yeah, oh. that's the thing. We're like, so Star Wars comes out and a Holocaust movie. Yep. What documentary feature. Documentary feature went to Amy. Cinematography yeah. went to The Revenant. Costume de- design went to Mad Max Fury Road. Yeah, it did. Do- documentary short subject went to A Girl in the River, Price of Forgiveness. Film editing, makeup and hair styling, styling production design all went to Mad Max Fury Road. As well sound as editing and sound mixing. Sound editing and sound mixing. Uh, original score went to Ennio Morricone for The Hateful Eight, his first yeah. Oscar win ever, by the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. sixth the nomination. Movie. 50 years of making some of the greatest music in cinematic history, and he gets it for a Tarantino movie, which is so well-deserved. 
The uh, shocker of the evening was the original song, Writings on the Wall. Jimmy Nates and Sam Smith. I was so mad. First of all, that was easily the weakest of the songs that was even performed that night. Yeah. Uh, Lady Gaga's song got the standing O. That one's the um, one that should have won. I literally cried for reasons I won't get into here. No, but I, I, was under- no I, under- I understand, given the uh, subject of the song. Um, animated short film, Bear Story. Live action short film, Stutterer. Visual effects went to Ex Machina. Personally, yes. that was an upset. Everybody was thinking it was going to go Mad Max or Star Wars. Yeah. Visual effects for Ex Machina. But, that was a big shocker there. Yes. But from the brief little clip they showed of it, you could see why it went to Ex Machina. I need to see Ex Machina. It's, I wanted to it's, it's great. It's impossible to believe that it's an <laughs> indie film Here's with a the weird effects night. that it has. Here's a weird way the night could have gone. So we were going to go to the movies, and it was a group of us, and we're like, all right, we have two choices here. We can either see, uh, all right, we're going to see Home, you know, the movie with the little aliens and the girl, Home. Uh, the but if Home movie. was, if, yeah, it's, I think it was DreamWorks. If, if Home was sold out, we were going to go see Ex Machina. So, has any of you, have not, have any of you seen the winners for the Razzie Awards? Nope. No. I saw a few of them. I, I know Eddie Redmayne won because people were right. joking that he should get the Oscar to put next to his Razzie. All right, so, uh, worst picture. The nominees were Fantastic Four, Fifty Shades of Grey, Jupiter Sending, Paul Blart, Mario Cop 2, and Pixels. Fifty Shades of Grey was not that bad of a movie. Uh, there were actually two winners, Fantastic Four and Fifty Shades of Grey, both won. Oh, there was Fantastic Four. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic Shades of Grey. It's going to sound like I'm defending the smoothie. <laughs> Fantastic Shades of Grey. <laughs> I would watch Fantastic Shades of Grey. It's probably a better movie than both of them combined. Okay, Worst no, okay, wait so a second. Fantastic Shades of Grey is, is, is a terrible movie, but it's, like, hysterically terrible. Like, We're, I was laughing my ass off. Worst actor went to I Jamie fuck. Dornan for Fifty Shades of Grey, and Worst Actress went hard. to Dakota Johnson for Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, okay, wait, the two actors in Fifty Shades of Grey got Worst Actors? Yeah, worst actor, worst actress. They have zero chemistry and are no too- keys. Yeah, no keys. Worst supporting actor, Eddie Redmayne, Jupiter Sending. <laughs> he won an Oscar last year and was nominated again this year. Worst Ooh. supporting actress, Kaylee Coco Sweeting for Alvin and Chipmunks: The Road Chip and The Wedding Ringer. Oh, uh, <laughs> two bad movies. Yeah, The Road Chip. Uh, Come on. Uh, worst remake ripoff sequel went to Fantastic Four. Mm-hmm. Worst screen combo, Jamie Dornan and Dakota Johnson, Fifty Shades of Grey. God, were they bad. Worst director, Josh Trank, Fantastic Four. I'm angry. Can you the Fantastic Four movie? flop? Uh, oh, horribly. Wor- worst screenplay, Fifty Shades of Grey. And the Razzie well, Redeemer the Award. The source material was a bit shit. Razzie Redeemer Award went to Sylvester Stallone. Yay! Who was the all-time Razzie champ, but he had the, uh, he was an Oscar contender for Creed. He didn't win, but he, he was nominated. A lot of people were pissed about. I am pissed about it. So was he, apparently. He stopped clapping yes. after he lost. <laughs> he was, he just was like, putting the gloves I on. I didn't win, I didn't yeah. win, Andrew. Fuck this. I was a contender. Yeah, I yeah, follow the Mary Sue nobody. on Twitter, and apparently, uh, the woman, J- Jenny Bevan, who won, so for a couple Oscars, actually, for, like, costume design, Dudes were refusing to clap for her, and I was like, I want to know what that's about. Why are y'all bitch being bitches? Because she looks like the front man for Led Zeppelin. <laughs> yeah, she does. Uh, oh, we were like, look, it's Bruce Valanche. Yeah, it's Bruce Valanche's father. I'm hearing a lot tonight. I'm sorry, you guys. Ah. You don't need to hear my potty mouth. Cool Hand Luke I'm actor. Not drunk. Cool Hand I'm Luke not actor. Drunk yet. Cool Hand Luke actor George Kennedy has passed away at the age of 91. That's true. Uh, the actor who came to prominence for his Oscar-winning supporting role alongside Paul Newman and Cool Hand Luke was known for a variety of performances, uh, including so, uh, supporting actor roles in Airport, The Naked Gun Trilogy, The Dirty Dozen, The Guns of the Magnificent Seven, Earthquake, Death on the River Nile, Spartacus, and many more. Oh, Kennedy, Spartacus. Uh, Kennedy was also famously played the villainous Texan oil baron Carter McKay in the last three seasons of the U.S. drama Dallas. Dallas. Guys, guys, I have some... Uh really terrible music news. What's that? <sighs> Earlier today in his apartment, Kanye West was found alive and well. Oh, man. <laughs> my boyfriend's like, that was my joke. <laughs> <sighs> I 
I recycle your jokes all the time, all right. babe. Let's uplift. Let's <laughs> uplift everybody's spirits right now. Let's uplift them right now with this one single image. This is going to be good. Is it titties? No. Ah. Yes, Legends of the Motherfucking Hit Devil! When Viacom Nickelodeon sketches its future advisors for Wednesday afternoon, one of the elements it will touch upon will be its past. As part of a presentation to promote its upcoming slate of programs, the Kids Content Media Empire will unveil a live-action TV movie inspired by its mid-90s game show, Legends of the Hidden Temple. Yeah. As well as the two-part TV movie based on Hey Arnold. Uh, yeah. So, let me, uh, let me scroll down to the uh, oh, Hidden back. Temple. Okay. In Hidden Temple, three siblings must conquer a series of obstacles to remain alive, mirroring the theme of the original game show. The TV movie is slated to appear in the fourth quarter of 2016 and will nod to other elements from the original show, including Olmec, who will hopefully be pra- played by D. Bradley Baker if he can tear himself away from American Dad. Uh, a talking head who knows the secrets behind the temple. The Steps of Knowledge, the entrance to the temple and the launching pad for the mission. And cameos from a green monkey, red jaguar, and silver snakes, among yeah. others. <laughs> yeah. Now we gotta. Now we have to keep this in mind. It's being made for the this Nickelodeon generation. Oh, yes, no. not ours. Legends. Of, I would love a game show revival. A uh, revival with that logo, man. That logo looks fucking badass. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If I had to pick in one of their. What's that? At- Pick one other game to be revived, Nick Arcade. Yeah. I can go with oh, that. Oh, God. Yes, please. But the thing is, if we, if we ever, not just the TV show, but, you know, do the TV show, and the kids have to play the games that were 20 years old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those games would challenge the hell out of them. They're still challenging to this day for freaking grown adults. They were like, I don't know. I can't get past the first stage. That's the point. They where's couldn't the get past che- the first stage twenty years ago. Where's <laughs> where's where's the cheat? Co- there are no cheat codes. There are cheat codes. They just take an impossibly long time to punch in and have to be done on the menu screen with button presses that you have to memorize. You know, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, select, start. <laughs> or even worse, the one for Super Star Wars. Oh, don't even get me started yeah. on that. Up, down, right, down, 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 <laughs> so thank God I freaking entered the code right this time. I don't want to have to hit reset one more time. <laughs> I mean, code, codes aren't everything. S D I P S P I D S P O P D. Uh, sun, Pokemon Sun and Moon. Well, you could just enter that code as ID, uh, ID KFA, and it'd be better off. Are we going to talk about Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon? Pokemon Sun and Moon have been officially announced. A pair of 3DS games were unveiled during the Pokemon Direct on yesterday. No, a few days ago. Uh, the announcement was on a total surprise since the trademarks for the games leaked yesterday, but confirming their existence. First, furthermore, the recent debut of the new Pokemon Magierna hinted that a new installment of the series was on the horizon. Uh, Nintendo also announced that the virtual console versions of the original Pokemon games will now allow for Pokemon transfers. In other words, Pokemon caught or traded in red, yellow, and blue on 3DS Virtual Console will be transferable to new iterations of the games, including Sun and Moon via the Pokebank. Oh, awesome. It's gonna be amazing! Uh, sorry, I had to switch over to see the the thing that Jace posted in my MVG Live event. <laughs> <laughs> Just a convenient wallpaper uh, yes. to use as a background uh, if you'd like. Uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon are scheduled to release holiday 2016, but there are further details like new legendaries or evolution possibilities were not mentioned during the brief direct. All right, guys. So we all have to agree. <laughs> we should talk. Can we just agree to call this Pokemon Sumo and not Pokemon S and M? No, I can't agree. No. To that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I, a lot of people have been drawing the conclusion to Pokemon Dayman and Nightman. Oh, spank me, Mr. Mime. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. So then I read something. Somebody posted, um, you know, Pokemon DP really filled a hole in the franchise. Now, I think Pokemon s and will really whip it back into shape. Okay. <laughs> whip it. I'm <laughs> just saying, we did already have Pokemon DP. Diamond P- and Pearl. DP- Actually, P- DPP. Yeah, it's DPP, Diamond Pearl Platinum. PP! Double penetration penetration. Double penetration penis. Double penis penetration. I'm drunk. 
Uh, Facebook is officially. So I'm not drunk. I've had like two malt liquors. I'm not drunk. I'm big boned. Uh, fa- <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> Facebook has officially expanded the signature <laughs> like button and launched reactions globally. The new feature allows uh, users to tell their friends how a status makes them feel, to, whether that's through an emoticon that expresses love, laughter, sadness, anger, or shock. To use the few new feature, you simply hover over the like button on the desktop or hold down the like button on mobile and click one of the reaction image options like like, love, haha, wow, sad, or angry. That's it. It's their way of getting around a dislike button. Yeah. I, I gotta say, uh, the, uh, re-going through my feed, I did see something that uh, when we were riffing the Oscars, we were all constantly during the in-memoriam part. It's like, if we don't see Roddy Piper, we're going to riot. But there's one other person that they left out, and I think they left him out because they might have uh, forgotten him because of all the hoaxes over the years. Oh, no, he died this year. It didn't count. Uh, yeah, technically but Ava so Goda did David uh, Bowie. So did David Bowie and Alan Rickman. Oh, yeah, they did yeah. forget Ava Goda. That's kind of jacked up. Yeah. Oh, the the one person the that everybody thought was dead, you know, for years. The man was in The Godfather, okay? They're looking for me. They're looking for me. He was in The Godfather. Oh, no. no. Mm-hmm. So... Uh, it is now time that it's time for the home stretch, and that means this is Joker Jeopardy. Here are today's contestants. Not Billy. Not and Billy. I'm, I'm, First, uh, <laughs> at this point, I will be taking my headphones off. And, uh, here are uh, conte- yeah. anyway. Here are today's contestants. First, a cast member on You Can't Be Serious and the Mental Cast from Virginia Beach, Virginia, Chelsea Tarkington. Next, I the cord. Uh, and our two returning champions. First, uh, a, c- a cast member of You Can't Be Serious from Nueva Leon, Mexico, Ricardo Arredondo, who's one week going cash- international. Who's one week cash winnings total twenty eight thousand five hundred dollars. Not real and money. our other co champion, <laughs> not real uh, money, <laughs> a cast member of You Can't Be Serious and Mental Cast from Boston, Massachusetts, Jace the Ace. Whose five week cash total totals two hundred and nineteen thousand one hundred dollars. Jesus Christ! <laughs> that's real money. Yeah, that's a lot of money. All right, how y'all doing? Uh, it's time for Joker a uh, Joker D. Uh, let's uh, let me pop up my sound effects here, and I will get will get right underway. Since I get them loaded up, I didn't quite give myself enough time. There we go, Joker Jeopardy. That's what I want. Open that. All right, so we all know how this works by now. Two of you are champions. The other one has played this game a lot, and <laughs> while not ah. not not very winning at it, also not terrible at it. There, how's that? I wouldn't be so bad if I didn't just always wager everything at the last. You second. also wouldn't be so bad if you weren't playing against two of the best fucking Joker, Joker Jeopardy players I've ever met in my life. So. Serious, it's like these dudes have no lives. <laughs> this is, this is you found honestly, out. I spent years uh, just watching this Game is, Show Network. This is honestly, so. this is like that Watson challenge. Only like Jace is the IBM Watson computer, and Ricardo's Ken Jennings, and you're the other guy they had on. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Schmo off the street. I'm like, shit. <sighs> In any event, uh, we know what we're here to do. The categories for our first round of play are Little Roadie, TV Show Plot Points, Double Ender Endings, Eat Your Veggies, The Movie Avenger Who, and what is Google? What Google is doing now. Normally the champion starts, but we have two of them this time. Uh, so the champion with the higher total Spice is going to start. start. No, actually, the champion with the higher total is going to start, and that means it'll be Jace. Well, yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, I got to set up uh, game boards here. Game Chelsea, board. Chelsea's in the uh, third position here because she's the only one not champion. Strange. All right, so we're going to start with Jace, and that means uh, the timer will start when uh, you pick your first selection. Joker, Little Rhodey, TV show plot points. Uh, let's go with the plot points. Okay. Charlie took Alan and Jake into his Malibu home and, a date, and dated a ballet teacher, and apparently a lot of Malibu. What is two and a half, man? That is correct. 
What is give me a frontal lobotomy for remembering that horrible show? Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, Ricardo, Little Rody, <laughs> eat your veggies, TV show plot points. TV show plot point. Claire betrayed her husband, Frank, on a vote count. Frank's a Doug betrayed Congressman Russo. Uh, can you repeat this? Claire betrayed her husband, Frank, on a vote count. Frank's a Doug betrayed Congressman Russo. What is the West Wing? No. <laughs> Chelsea? Um, what is Veep? No, Jace? What is Netflix's biggest guilty binging pleasure, House of Cards? What is House of Cards? Whoa. That is the correct answer. Uh, Chelsea, Joker, Joker, the movie Avenger Who? Let's go Joker, Joker, the movie Avenger Who? The movie Avenger Who has a day of the week name for him. <laughs> who is Thor? That is correct. Yep. Thor's day. <laughs> it's my day off. <laughs> Jace, double letter endings, Little Rody, Joker. Uh, let's go uh, Joker Avenger. Shares his, the, the movie Avenger who shares his name with a triathlon. Triathlon? Triathlon? Shit. Um, who is Iron Man? That is correct. Uh, Ricardo, Joker, the movie Avenger who, what Google is doing. Joker, the movie Avenger who. Shares his name with a character on MASH. Uh, share on uh, MASH, MASH, MASH. Mash. Ah, I don't remember Mash. Uh, who oh, is? A- sorry, uh, that was the wrong thing. What was that, <laughs> Ricardo? Who is a Hulk? No, Chelsea. Oh, uh, what was the question? Shares his name with a character on Mash. Who is Hawkeye? Yes. That's oh, correct. I don't remember Mash. Chelsea, TV show plot points. Joker, Joker. Let's go, Joker, Joker. TV show plot points. Why Susan- not? Susan burning 80s house and Gabby's affair with a hunky gardener were among the many wacky times on a certain lane. Okay, first of all, her name was pronounced Edie, and second of all, it's what is Desperate Housewives. That's correct. And she's a whore! With no name. No, her name's Edie. Uh, Jace. <laughs> Jace, Joker, Joker, Joker! What oh, cate- Jace got the me one. Oh. What, what, which category? Uh, let's do, uh... TV show plot points for a thousand. For a thousand. All right, this is just for Jace. Lock and Boone discovered a hatch. Ah. Uh, oh. Uh, what is lost? That is correct. <laughs> Ricardo. Yes. TV show plot points, double letter endings, what Google is doing. TV show plot points. Detective Speedle was killed and Horatio donned his sunglasses. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> what is CSI Miami? That is correct. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> doo, doo, doo. And that is actually the end of that category. Oh, no. Uh, so now we're down to five. Chelsea, what Google is doing, the movie Avenger Who, eat your veggies. Uh, let's go the movie Avenger Who. I'm having fun with that one. Sounds like a deadly spider. Who is the Black Widow? That is correct. <laughs> spider. Uh, Jace. Eat your veggies, Joker, double letter endings. Uh, let's go Joker Google. In 2004, Google acquired Keyhole, a digital mapping company that would later become Google This. What is Earth? That is correct. Welcome to Earth. Welcome to Earth. Uh, Ricardo, uh, Little Rody, eat your veggies, Joker. Joker Google. No longer in the back pocket, this Google feature that helps in-store or online purchases was unveiled in 2011. Uh, in-store? What is... Uh, what is retail? Uh, no, that is incorrect. Chelsea? Uh, what was the question? No longer in the back pocket, this Google feature that helps in-store or online purchases was unveiled in 2011. Uh. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm sure the back pocket has something to do with it. I don't know. Jace? What is wallet? That's correct. Oh, wallet. Oh. Ah. Need to use more Google. Uh. Chelsea, for you. The movie Avenger Who, what, little, what Google's doing, and Little Roadie. We're going to go with movie Avenger Who. I'm was pretty a, good at this one. Was a role in Easy Rider. Hmm. 
Mm. Who's Captain America? That is correct. <laughs> mm. And uh, that category is also now gone. Oh. Uh, Jace, eat your veggies, Joker, double letter endings. Uh, let's go with, uh, uh, was, was, uh, wait, what would the other categories that aren't? That aren't those two? Yeah. Uh, double letter, uh, let's see, you got Little Roadie, double letter endings, and eat your veggies, and then what is, what Google is doing? Let's do Little Roadie. Alright, Rhode Island's official symbol of American folk art is one of these that features 56 hand-carved jumping horses. Oh, God. If I, if. I'm going to rule this category, guys. Sorry. What is a carousel? That is correct. I, I know all about Rhode Island. Island. <laughs> Ricardo, Joker, Joker, double letter endings. Uh, Joker, double letter endings. Peculiar, or a number like 17 or 23. Mm. Oh, I know. Uh, uh, Mm. Mm. No, I don't know. Chelsea? Um. Mm. I'm not sure. Jace? What is odd? What is odd? Oh. oh! See, my brain, they're both prime numbers, too. So I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so, Optimus Prime. <laughs> I'm focusing way too much on, like, the prime numbers thing. Timer. That I- Completely glossed over odd Chelsea, number. Timer. Chelsea, what Google's doing? Joker, Little Roadie. Let's go, Joker, what Google is doing. Just say OK to this wearable product and it'll send a message. Give directions or record your neighbor. What is a Google Watch? No. Tell, uh, Jace. That's <laughs> that exists what is yet. Glass? That is correct. Google Glass. Right. I forgot that's a thing. Was Jace. a thing. Jace, Jace, Joker, Joker, Joker. Damn. Do it. Who's gonna win this? All right. Okay. uh, uh, Let's go, Rody, for a thousand. All right. This man with a presidential first name succeeded his father, John Chafee, as a U.S. senator and is now state governor. (laughs) And failed horribly at running for president. Who is Lincoln Chafee? That is correct. (laughs) Chafee. Ricardo, Little Roadie, Joker, what Google is doing? What Google is doing? This browser, introduced in 2008, was given a name associated with shiny, fast cars. Uh, what is Chrome? That is correct. Chelsea, Joker, Little Roadie, Joker. Um, Joker, is the Avengers category still up? Uh, it is gone. Uh, Joker, not Little Roadie. What were the, my other options? Uh, double letter endings, eat your veggies, and what Google's doing. Hey, let's go veggies. In the early 19th century, George Stevenson began growing these pickle veggies in glass tubes so they'd grow straight. What are cucumbers? That is correct. I did not know that they weren't always straight. Straight at Compton. You can't be a gay <laughs> cucumber. <laughs> Jace, uh, what Google is doing, double letter endings, Joker. Freaking peanut guy. Uh, Let's go... Joker Google. In 2013, Time put Google on the cover for the company's new effort to extend this indefinitely. Uh, what is life? Yeah, uh, yes, I'll take that. What is specifically your life? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. Your life. That's interesting that Google wants to expand your life. Or extend it. Extend it. Just so you can buy their products longer. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, that's the end of that category. Uh, oh, no. Excuse me. Uh, Ricardo, Little Roadie, Little Roadie, double letter endings. Uh, little Roadie? Uh, 2011, in 2011, this Ivy League school sold Jeremoth Hill, the state's highest point at 812 feet, to the state. No idea. Chelsea? <laughs> What is Trump University? No. <laughs> Jace, what Jace, is Brown University? What is Brown University? <laughs> I couldn't remember which school was in Rhode Chelsea, Island. Chelsea. Chelsea, double letter endings, Little Roadie, Joker. Uh, let's go Joker, double letter endings. To effervesce. <laughs> what is to fizz? That is correct. 
Uh, Jace. Little Rody, Joker, Joker. Joker, Joker, Rody. Rhode Island, the island, as opposed to the state, is in this bay. Uh, what is Narragansett Bay? That is correct. <laughs> uh, uh, Ricardo. Jo- Little Rocky, Little Rody, Joker, <laughs> Joker. Joker. Double letter words. This supernatural Irish woman of the fairies was just a scream. <laughs> what is a banshee? That is correct. <laughs> uh, Chelsea, Joker, eat your veggies, Joker. Let's go, Joker, eat your veggies. Winter, winter varieties of this include Golden Acorn, Buttercup, and Hubbard. What are squash? That is correct. Attack of the killer squashes. I like squash. Uh, Jace, Little Rody, Joker, uh, double letter endings, Joker. Joker Rody. In 1636, this minister founded Providence as a shelter for persons distressed for conscience. And he is not the deceased comedian. Uh, who is Roger Williams? That is correct. What? <laughs> and Little Rody is gone. Oh, thank God. We may actually make it through all the questions in this round. We still have like six and a half minutes left. <laughs> That's also because I'm keeping the categories separate on a notepad, so I can just re-enter them when I have to delete a category. Uh, Chelsea, Joker, double letter, in- or, sorry, Ricardo, Joker, double letter endings, eat your veggies. Double letter endings. Oh, oh, daily double. Okay, so we may not make it through, but that's all right. Uh, so this is a daily double for you, Ricardo. You are actually in third place right now with 3,600. You are five grand behind Chelsea, believe it or not. Uh, how much of your 3,600 would you like to wager? Mm, 1,500. Uh, $1,500, okay. Only for Ricardo. Court officer similar to a sheriff who can execute writs. Can you repeat it? Court officer similar to a sheriff who can execute writs. Writs. Court officer similar to a sheriff who can execute writs. Uh, what is... Bailiff? That is correct. Nicely done. Oh. Chelsea, Joker, Joker, Joker. Oh, Joker, uh, Joker, Joker. Only, only things left are double letter endings and eat your veggies. Which one do you Let's want? Let's go veggies. Okay, this is uh, six, eight, or a thousand. Let's go a thousand. All right, this actually also comes with a an image. It's the Chinese name for the food seen here. Uh, you may have to open. Oh no, there it goes. It's the Chinese name for the food seen here, also called Chinese cabbage. What is bok choy? That is correct. <laughs> That's pretty okay. Uh, Jace, Joker, eat your veggies, Joker. Uh, what else is left? Uh, double letter endings. Uh, I'll do uh, double letter endings. To sing with vibratory or quavering effect. What is to trill? That is correct. And that category is gone. No! So all that's left now is eat your veggies. But I don't want to. That's too bad. Ricardo. <laughs> uh, Ricardo, Joker, Joker, Joker. Do you want the 600 oh. or $800 clue? Mm, 800. Unlike the familiar small red globe variety of this root vegetable, the daikon type is carrot-shaped and can be 18 inches long. <laughs> I actually know this one. Because Daikon are Japanese. Yeah, that's the only reason why. You freaking weeb. Well, that and they're in there uh, in Mario Brothers. I want to give... Uh, ah, ah, name in English. Uh, the, oh, yeah. Uh, Ricardo has uh, to translate. Uh, that's, why I, that's why I give him a little longer than I'm giving you guys. Are you That is correct. Very good. What's that in Spanish? And uh, Chelsea, you're gonna get the uh, Chelsea. You're gonna get the last clue. Joker, Joker, eat your veggies. Hell Devel- yeah, Joker, Joker, eat your veggies. Developed in Canada, the Yukon Gold variety of this tuber has yellow flesh. <laughs> what is the potato? That is correct. Yukon Golds make excellent that, mashed potatoes, we, you guys. We finished potatoes, the first. Potatoes, potatoes. <laughs> Boil them, mash them, stick them in a the stew. Yes. Yeah. We finished round one with three minutes left on the clock. Oh, that's holy the crap. That's the fastest we ever finished the first round. All the clues are gone. 
Rabano. I like that. I'm going to call them Rabanos from now on. Rabano. 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 I like that. All right. It's my new uh, name for radish. I'm just going to call them by the Spanish word. So with that in mind, uh, right now the scores are as follows. Jace is in the lead with 20,000. Of course. Chelsea's in, Chelsea's in second with 14,400. Ricardo's in third with 8,300, which means he'll be going first in double jeopardy. Oh! And I have these saved on a notepad as well, so this will, we'll try to be quick on this one as well. Who's ready to party? I'm ready to party. Who's ready to party? I'm ready to party. Oh, yeah! Boonsaw is ready! So, the uh, categories for this round of play are... <laughs> presidential Hopeful's Resume Items, Classic Comic Strips, The 700 Club, Ends in SH... All five vowels in one word, and the All Writers Basketball Team. That's your categories. Ricardo, the round will start when you pick your first of these. Joker, all five vowels in one word. Joker. Joker comics. Joker comic strips. In 2013, this lasagna-loving cat celebrated his 35th birthday. Who is Garfield? That's correct. Uh, Chelsea. Joker, Joker, Joker! Hey, hey right at the gate. All right, right categories? Cat- uh, I just went over them. Presidential hope for, Hopeful's Resume Items, Classic Comic Strips, 700 Club, Ends in SH, All Five Vowels in One Word, All Writers Basketball Team. Oh, hell yeah, we're going Classic Comics. Uh, 8, 12, 16, or 2000? Let's go 2000, just 2000. to take it off the board. Though his cool. original strip ended in 1975, this character lives on as Georgia's State Possum. Oh! oh! No Wait, no. I have no idea. Possum? Not even a guess. <laughs> Who is Pogo? Who is Pogo? Pogo. Remember that oh. was triple, oh, yeah, that was triple yeah. Jeopardy. So Jason Ricardo did not get a See, shot. See, I used to. Or triple yeah. Jeopardy. I was about to say I used to live in Detroit where they'd run reruns of Pogo. But I, uh, I, Jace, uh, presidential hopefuls, resume items, Joker, Joker. Uh, Joker. Let's go, Joker seven hundred. In the Dewey Decimal System, books filed under the 720s cover this subject, including buildings and public structures. At first I didn't know it, then you said buildings. What is architecture? That is correct. Ooh. Ricardo, the 700 Club, Joker, Joker. Joker Comics. Even with inflation, this Peanuts character was always willing to give her advice for f- five cents. Uh, who is... Ah, name in English. Uh, who is Lucy? That's correct. Chelsea. Classic comic strips, Joker, Joker. Classic comic strips, Joker, Joker. It followed the imaginative adventures of a six-year-old boy and his trusty toy tiger. Oh, what is Calvin and Hobbes? That is correct. Mm, that was some good shit. Jace. 700 Club, 700 Club, Joker. Uh, Let's go, Joker. 700, 700. Uh, take a big gulp before telling us that DCCXI is this year in Roman numerals. Uh, what is 711? That is correct. That, did you write that one? Nope. Oh, good, because it was a terrible pun. <laughs> Bite me. Ricardo, uh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> me, no, Michael. thank you. Uh, <laughs> all five vowels in one word, all writers, basketball team, 700 club. What was the first one? Uh, all five vowels in one word. No, 700. Uh... Hank Aaron ended his career with this record number of regular season home runs. Mm, Hank Aaron with 700... What what is 755? That is correct. Nicely done. Uh, Chelsea, Chelsea, classic comic strips, Joker, all five vowels in one word. Uh, let's keep it with the Casa comic strips Joker. You could say it's wife Helga who wears the skins in the family in this strip. What is Hagar the Horrible? That's correct. <laughs> wears the skins. <laughs> yeah. Well, that must have sounded weird out of context. All right, and I must announce that the comic strips c- category is gone. No! So, uh, that means uh, it's time for Jace... Joker, presidential hope for resume items, Joker. Uh, let's do Joker 700. Oh, oh, oh. It's one of the daily doubles. Oh, snap. Jace, it's a big moment. You are in the lead by $2,000 right now. Uh, 23, tw- you got 23-2, Chelsea has 21-2. Oh, 
So you have a very slim lead. How much of your 23200 would you like to wager? You know what? I'm doing well at 700 So let's go with 7000 Oh, wow. All right. For 7000 extra points or dollars. It's cube it's cube root is nine. Times nine is eighty one. Eighty one times nine. You guys realize it's almost midnight, right? Uh what is seven hundred twenty nine? Very good. Ooh. I can math. I couldn't math. Ricardo, Joker presidential hopeful resume items, Joker. Joker seven hundred. 702 and 755 are area codes in this state. Uh, uh, 702. It has to be in the United States? Well, that would make it a state, <laughs> yes. <laughs> what is... Uh, Nevada? That is correct! Oh. Wow. Was that a guess? Yes. <laughs> Holy shit. I was thinking of Las Vegas. <laughs> Woo, buddy. All right. So... Chelsea, uh, by the way, 700 Club is gone. Joker, all 5,001 word Joker. Oh, hell, let's try all, all however 5, 000, many vowels there are in one word. All 5,001 word. It's a conversation between two people or the talky part of movies. What is dialogue? That is correct. All five vowels are in that word. Woo! So you're aware. Uh, Jace. Joker, Joker, Joker! Holy oh, shit! Oh that's like the fourth time that's happened this game, and the third time to Jace. Which category Holy do you shit. want? Uh, let's do five vowels for 2,000. You qualify as this if your bank balance has a two followed by six zeros. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is a multimillionaire? That is correct. Oh. Ricardo. Ricardo. If only. All, I Ricardo, all five vowels in one word, Joker, Joker. Uh, Joker, vowels. To give a person official power to do something. Uh, uh, do something. Uh, English, 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 English. Uh, what is persuade? No, Chelsea? Ah. Ah. Uh, what was the question? To give a person power to... Uh, to give a person official power to do something. No. Power glove. You don't know? I, uh, it's, I'm blanking. Jace? What is to authorize? That is correct. Ah. Authorize. Remember, Tricky, all, sneaky. All, all I see what five, you did there. All 5,001 word there. Uh, Chelsea, Joker, all 5,001 word, all writers basketball team. All writers basketball team? Is that what you want? That, what even is that? Well, if you pick it, you'll find out. I'll yeah. pick it. Let's go. 6-4 from the University of Maine, this Dead Zone author. Oh, who is Stephen King? That is correct. I didn't realize Stephen King was a freaking giant. Yeah, he is. That Holy is. Holy crap. Stephen King 6-4. Uh, oh, uh, Jace, ends in SH, all writers basketball team, all writers basketball team. Uh, let's do the writers, I guess. 6-9 from Harvard is this man who wrote thrillers under the name John Lang. Lang is tall in German. Uh, shit. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know. Ricardo? Who is Michael Crichton? That is correct. Oof. Uh, sorry, I have to do math in my head. All right. Uh, Ricardo, Joker, Joker, all five vowels in one word. Joker, Joker, uh, basketball and authors. Six six from the Repton School in Derbyshire. Oh, this has got a link. This has got a, a an image with it. Six six from the Repton School in Derbyshire is this children's author seen with wife Patrice, Patricia Neal. Uh, ah, oh, mm. Patricia Neal. So who is? Uh, uh, who is Roald Dahl? That is correct. Uh, Chelsea, Joker ends in SH, Joker. Joker ends in SH. A close re living relative is your this and blood. Flesh and blood. What is flesh and blood? There you go. You got it. Hmm. Jace, 
Ends in SH, All Riders Basketball Team, Joker. Uh, let's go Joker Basketball. 6-3 from Fairfax High, this author of crime books like L.A. Confidential. Oh, shit. Uh, who is James Elroy? That is correct. Ricardo, Joker, Joker, presidential hopeful resume items. Joker, Joker, basketball and others. 6-8 from Ontario Agricultural College, this economist who wrote the New York Industry, or the New Industrial State. Mm. Industrial State, Industrial State. Uh, who is John Kenneth? Uh, I need more information. Uh, who is John Kenneth Galbraith? That's correct. Yeah. <laughs> it rhymes. Yeah, no, English <laughs> en- English is hard, even for somebody who speaks it as his first language. Believe me, Chelsea, Joker, all five vowels in one word, ends in sh. Joker ends in sh. By the way, the basketball category is gone. Ah. It means it means to tease in a playful way, as Mr. Groban would tell you. What is to Josh? That is correct. What? <laughs> she was Josh and you. Shut up. <laughs> uh, Jace, presidential hopeful resume items, ends in SH, Joker. Uh, let's do ends in SH. All right, this, uh, this comes, this actually has a movie clip to go along with it. She was Ooh, nicknamed. A video daily double. Ah, it's not a daily double. But uh, she was the nickname, the first lady of the silver of the silent screen. Please load for me fast enough. Stupid freaking computer. It's a very t- small MP4 file. It should work. Uh, my screen just turned white, and I've got a spinning wheel. Uh, come on, you asshole, computer. Yeah, it's it's not loading for me. All right, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to call you out of time then, uh, Ricardo. Yeah. All right. Uh, Chelsea. Shot in the dark. Oh, Who is Clara Bow? What's that? Who is Clara Bow? No. Who is Lillian mm. Gish? Oh, Lillian of course Gish. it's freaking Gish. Ah. Gish. Ricardo, presidential hopefuls resume items, Joker, all five vowels in one word. Uh, Joker, five vowels. You'd do well to learn about this cabinet department. Mm. Can you repeat it? You'd, you'd do well to learn about this cabinet department. Mm, what is uh, the Department of State? No. Oh. Chelsea? Question? You do well to learn about this cabinet department. Ah. What? Education? Jeopardy. What is? I said what is? Oh, I didn't hear you over Ricardo. Sorry. Yeah, you got it. What is education? What is education? Chelsea? What is education? Chelsea, ends in SH, Joker, Joker. Let's go Joker Joker ends in SH. Sh- Simraig is the native name for this language. What is Finnish? No. Ha <laughs> Jace. I am part this. What is Welsh? That is correct. Well, well, well. If I'd seen that written down, I probably would have guessed Welsh, because it probably has far too many consonants. Alright, uh, Jace. Presidential hopefuls resume items, all five vowels in one word. Joker. Let's go for five vowels. Uh, this veggie describes an ear deformed by repeated injury. <laughs> uh, what is cauliflower? That is correct. And that's it. Uh, that's yeah. all we're going to have time for. As I had like five seconds left when you answered the question, so I'm not going to get to the uh, res- reshuffling the categories because that one was gone. Oh. Uh, let me add that last bit to your score. And... All right. So... That is the end of regulation. And, holy crap, we have a high-scoring game. In third place is Ricardo with 26,900. Third place, (laughs) 26,900. In second place is Chelsea with 28,400. Right now in the lead is Jace with 51,800. Mm. Oh. Is There's it safe a... to say? Is it safe to say that Jace is just a regular now? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get to Final Jeopardy. Uh, let's not keep everybody waiting. Final Jeopardy category is historic legislation. Please send me your wagers in private message now. 
And while we're waiting on the wagers, I will regale you with a tale of my first, uh, I don't know, let's my say hand First job. kiss. Well, um. Well, my first kiss went a little like this. Like this. And twist. I, and um, twist. I have it on good authority that Mike's first kiss was with his left hand. Lefty. Who told you? I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We, we've all been there. Now, one moment, guys. I really have to math hard on this one. Believe it or not, my first kiss was. Um, Can you the, post the, the values in this chat real quick? I did. Yes, you posted. He said, there. Didn't come up for me. Believe it or not. I weighed six dollars. No, six dollars is not a thing. I'm gonna oh, what? Mark that as red so I can get your actual friggin' wager. Believe it or not. What's there? Mike's first kiss was when he was negative three. No, no, no. Actually, uh, it was like I was probably like fifteen or sixteen, and so was she. Um, we were at the beach, and she. Well, all the whole the whole night, uh, the whole day, uh, I was following her around, and she would let me touch her boobs the whole day. <laughs> I'm not even joking. She didn't even care. She was like, "Yeah, you can." You can Did touch you her know this person? Yes, it was Billy. <laughs> Why are you appearing? Just are you a bitch you met that day? By the way, do you know that you're appearing online, uh, offline, Jace? Uh I I think so. Uh, I think I had it on invisible because I was at work today. Uh, okay, fair invisible. enough. Uh, in any event, in any event, uh, I have all the things in. But yeah, she, uh, I, I was able to. She let me touch her boobs. She offered to to change her bikini bottom in front of me. And then at the end of the night, she was just like, uh, I was just like, do you want to kiss? And she's like, meh, not really. And then she leaned in for the kiss anyway. Yes. And I was so inexperienced. There was, she, she, she slipped me the tongue, but I was so inexperienced. I didn't know what that was. So I just, it wasn't, it wasn't very good. <laughs> I just good. took her wallet. Okay. So like, was it good or did you like just smash her face? Well, I mean, her- she was, she turned lesbian like two years later. So I don't, I don't know. Wow. Mike, that <laughs> you did this so. <laughs> Your fault. Well, I you hope know, I didn't have that well, you know something, Michael, uh. That day, she that it really opened my eyes. All right. We got to get to the uh, final Jeopardy now. Everybody's wagers are in. All right. Historic legislation. Here's your final Jeopardy clue. In 1820, Jefferson called this bill the knell of the Union, saying a geographical line will never be obliterated. 30 seconds and begin. <laughs> reading Chelsea's thing, there was a lot of noise and I missed a question. Uh, in 1820, Jefferson called this bill the knell of the Union, saying a geographical line will never be obliterated. Oh, wow. It would help if I could spell. Uh, it probably wouldn't. Uh, there we go. <laughs> I'm doing some adjustments. Please, please pronounce exactly what I wrote. All right, so uh, wagers are in, and I can tell you I, the math is in. This is going to be a close one. This is going to be devastatingly close. Chelsea, uh, we start, or no, we're going to start with Ricardo because he was in third place. Yes, sir. Uh, he gave me what is the Missouri Compromise? That is the correct answer. Um, give me a second because he came in with twenty six thousand nine hundred. He wagered all of it. He doubles his score yeah. to 53,800. Oh. So the answer? Uh, Louisiana, uh, uh, the Missouri Compromise. Uh, Jace has to be right in order to win the game. We go to Chelsea now, who came in second with... Uh, I fucking forget. 28,400. 28,400. 28, she said, what is the Lucian purchase? <laughs> <laughs> 
Lucy Lucian? that Louisiana purchased, but no, that's yes. that's wrong. The little known acquisition of the Lucian territory. Yes, you know, uh, it's the wrong, that, you know, and we purchased hell. It's wrong, and she wagered everything, which means she goes down to zero. <laughs> All right, Jace came in this round, uh, guns a blazing <laughs> with fifty one thousand eight hundred. He said, "What is the Missouri compromise?" He has to wager more than two thousand to win the game, and he wagers oh. five grand. So by three thousand dollars, Jace remains our champion. Fifty six thousand eight hundred dollars, <laughs> and I'll get you a grand total in just a minute. <laughs> the winning keeps on happening. Of one million nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars. So nine cents. Oh. <laughs> while we while we figure out. <laughs> Let me regale you with a tale of the first time I ever punched a clown. <laughs> his first punch. I'm sorry, every time somebody like says something this. a story about punching, I flash back to this. I can't remember who the comedian was, but he was telling a story about he was on, he was waiting for the bus in LA, and he saw a homeless dude punch a pigeon out of the air. Uh, yes. Grand total, Jace, 275,900. Jesus Christ! <laughs> and and Ricardo's one week as champion is uh, obviously officially over with because he was defeated on this day. So John uh, Jace is our sorry called you by your real first name there for a second. Uh, Jace, <laughs> Jace is the Montana Braun. Jason is uh, Jason. God damn it! <laughs> you called me by my other other name. Jace is officially our s- singular champion, and he's a six-week champion. It's 275-9. What a game. What a what a game from everybody. That was a high-scoring game of Jeopardy, let me tell you. Uh, and, of course, our other prize is that Jace gets to tell us where, he go- where, where we can find him first. Jace? I've been unifying everything as much as I can. Um, Nintendo's stupid, so... Uh... It's either Crit Hit Pro or Crit Hit Jace. I can't remember which of the two. But, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, YouTube, Crit Hit Jace, uh, Tumblr, Mind of Jace with little hyphens, and Facebook, Crit Hit Cosplay, or just search Crit Hit Jace. All right. Second place was Ricardo. That means you get to go next. You can find me on YouTube as Rasmas, on Twitter as Richie Arredondo, on Tumblr as... Coco Mines, uh, and on Facebook as Ricardo Arredondo. There you go. Chelsea, you were in third place. You get to go next. Ah, oh, well. <laughs> you can find me mostly on Twitter, um, at Chelsea, which is uh, C-H-E-L-F-F-I-E. boot diddy boot boot Woogity boot boot And you can find me on my blog. I got a little bit delayed because I actually got kind of sick right after MAGFest. That'll so, happen. I Con did not play. actually. I got a little bit, but I, I didn't get it until like three days after. So it was like yeah. a delayed con plague. But, uh, so I unfortunately did not get it up in time. Plus, I actually had like a run of tests in a row. So yeah, that also delayed it. But my blog is uh, filmbookproject.blogspot.com. Um, and hopefully, definitely by the end of March, the article on the first movie will be up there. I went with one of my favorite movies in the world. Um, to go uh, be my first article. So it'll be up there soon, and you can see what kind of terrible taste of movies I have. All right. Uh, Billy Carter, you're in fourth place by virtue of not playing at all. Where do they find you? <laughs> yeah. You know, you yeah, people know where to find me, but I'm going to leave you with this. If a homeschool mom is, taking, is talking to herself, is she crazy, or is it just a parent-teacher conference? You decide. Many thanks to our producer, Dane. Once again, for being our producer. If convenience stores are open 24 hours a day, why are there locks on the doors? Uh, you can find you me over. Robbed. You can find me at tvfairymind.com where I do this show, uh, Wrestle Riffs, Slam, The Joker's Wild, You Can't Be Serious, uh, and and uh, other things as well as, as uh, the Oscars are mental, which is now up for the public. And uh, tomorrow there'll be uh, you'll get to see our Wrestle Riffs live that we did on Monday. Uh, and MVG Live is back as well. We're returning MVG Live. Uh, I'm assuming everybody saw my announcement about my content in Geek Juice, so I'm not going to go into it here. But uh, needless to say, uh, it meant the resurrection of MVG Live, and we'll be playing Bomberman 
Bomberman, Bomberman 93, and Bomberman 94 for the tu- TurboGrafx-16 tomorrow. <laughs> uh, tonight, AKA PC Engine, if you're yes. Japanese. Later tonight at later tonight at 10 Eastern, 7, uh, 7 Pacific. The, I may officially change my Twitter name to Chelsea Woobity Boo Boo. <laughs> nice. Uh, um... <laughs> Uh, uh, I'm also on I'm, so, I'm on social media at Metalcast MC. You can find me uh, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. And uh, my That's existential thought public. is: if sign painters go on strike, what do they paint on their signs? For our producer Dan Fortune, I'm Mike Riley. I'm Chelsea Tarkenton. I'm Billy Carter. I'm going into the danger zone. That reminds me, Archer comes back this month. And I'm Ricardo Arre Archer. <laughs> <laughs> And we'll see you oh. next. And we'll see you in the, uh, next week on the Pam Poovy has big jugs cast. Good night. Whoa.